This proposal, in short, was to allow researchers to easily create interactive visualizations with HTML5, CSS3, and SVG. It's a proposal to move from a static image showing one aspect of the data to a dynamic visualization that allows a user to explore more aspects of the underlying data. This map, for instance, shows not only overall literacy, but also the differences between male and female literacy in all countries. Vector visualizations such as this one can scale without becoming distorted or pixelated, allowing the user to focus in on a smaller region. While the number of visualizations online is increasing, most mere paper visualizations and are static images without any interactivity. These visualizations discard the power of internet distribution and digital data. Our proposal, therefore, is to make the creation of interactive visualizations easy. We would like to create reusable web-based components that any researcher could use to easily create interactive visualizations. The web-based system would allow researchers to place data in a Google Docs spreadsheet and or upload the data as a CSV and then create an interactive visualization through a web-based wizard. The resulting visualizations may be used in a variety of ways, embedded in other sites, downloaded, or used in teaching materials and ebooks, for example. Network diagrams are another class of visualization that benefit from interactivity. This static image shows UK central government web presence. Nodes are websites, and the lines, or edges between them, are links between sites. Labeling all the websites and actually seeing whether two sites link together, and if so, in what direction, is quite challenging. With interactivity, the user can select a site, and only the connected sites are labeled. Color can then be used to indicate the direction of the link, as in this example. Here's the direct.gov portal the Foreign Office, and the Food Standards Agency, as an example. This visualization also runs within the stock browser on an Android-based tablet, as shown in these screenshots from the first-generation ASUS Transformer. While there are many issues to address, this alpha code shows, we hope, the power and versatility of interactive visualizations. Visualizations are a powerful way to communicate data, and some patterns in data are much more evident once visualized properly. Interactive visualizations add a richness and depth to data presentation that paper emulating static visualizations cannot. Our team with expertise in geography, cognitive science, social network analysis, and computer science will be involved in designing these components from the start and will engage with the wider academic community. We aim to enable all researchers to be able to create these rich, interactive visualizations easily. Please vote for this project to make this a reality. Thank you.